What is up guys, Chu here, bringing you another review on Domestic Not Kanajo, or Domestic Girlfriend for short. This episode was everywhere, honestly, like the direction of it was, uh, truthfully, everywhere. Like, we have, we start off with at least a good half of the episode, where we get to see uh, Hina and Natsuo having their date, or going out uh and enjoy themselves and then like things go a little awkward here in my opinion when Natsu actually confesses his love to her after giving her the no the the novel he had been writing for her basically uh, having her the center of 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 the of the story and uh, then she reveals how she felt like well she felt well, she reveals that first before his confession, but she reveals how she came to like Shu, uh, how she was kind of like in a bad predicament, where her friends kind of saw her as a flirt with other boys. Honestly, the girls are like that. Like, there's some girls out there that are truthfully really nice. They're they're outgoing. That's kind of how they are, and other girls get jealous. Of course, that didn't go so high, but due to their jealousy and due to their uh, way of being with her this kind of led her to be alone and falling in love with Chu. I mean Shu not Chu. God it's like I'm talking about myself Shu and uh, Their romance kind of well the relationship kind of starts that way and she talks about how they kind of uh, Came across each other after in college and things kind of picked up from there and she even you know after hearing Natsu's confession she basically takes him into the water saying, you know, you know, if we do this, it's basically what we're doing now is a double homicide. Uh, at first she thought, at, at first she was saying, excuse me, that she thought it was scummy about people who were cheating. But then she basically didn't care because she was happy. And that's kind of what happened with her mom and her father who divorced due to cheating. And Natsu just isn't ready for that. He's not ready to go these lengths for a relationship. And I understand completely, you know, like there, you just don't want to cross certain lines, whether it be your family, friends, uh, or, you know, this is just wrong. And uh, she is extremist, but she was testing him. And we do see her crying reading this, this novel. I don't know necessarily if she was crying because maybe she wanted to initiate something with someone else. And cross these lines with him or she was touched by the story either way i think that she really had a touching moment with herself realizing uh, that it, it looks like it's not a possibility like being with natsuo isn't going to make things better and she does give him back his novel and things kind of get tense and awkward for natsuo once again he doesn't know how to really react you think that, you know, interacting with the other girls at school, that, that would have distracted him, but it doesn't. And what makes it worse is that after this half of the episode, we kind of turn to Rui and, like, she actually goes into his room. And we already know that she's struggling with her feelings for Natsuo, or not knowing what to label them. And she says that she wants to try kissing. And they do. And Natsuo is very hesitant, saying, you know, we're siblings now. And he thinks about what uh, Hina had said before about the whole domis homis double homicide and crossing, you know, and he basically doesn't care. I feel like this is going to be the beginning of a new Natsuo. I honestly think that he's going to start caring less about morality and maybe just kind of indulging in his feelings. And so he does kiss her. He doesn't seem to feel anything. However, we do get to see her perspective and hear what she has to say. And she says that it feels good that she wants to continue to do it and that it's like a sense of security uh, but it's it's gonna be really a really sticky situation once all this comes out which i'm hoping it does you know hoping it does come out sooner rather than later uh, natsuo does kind of get pumped up talking with the club about having you know this whole festival coming up and they want to have their newsletter ready uh, we do see uh, how Moi, excuse me Rui and Momo are all just kind of in there you know getting ready but we have the weird ass teacher Kuruya saying that 
and they shouldn't forget about studying which is their primary focus as students excuse me and so we have Natsuo and Rui kind of having uh, they definitely had an advantage here and you know also being family helps out a lot but they tell Hina to teach them and so they kind of have their uh, I guess their study session and weirdly enough we have Rui picking on Natsuo talking about uh, Moi how like they could you know they kind of seem like they're a couple and you know Hina acts like the typical older sister kind of like reacting like it's no big deal uh, but uh, not so easily dismissed like no we don't have any of that going on so I don't know why you're saying that it could be that maybe Rui wants to cause some jealousy because he's aware of Natsu's feelings because she did say to him during that night where they kissed that it's like I, I know that you were trying to you know pull a move on her and kissing her so it's not that she forgot it's just that she would bring it up later which was I think a, the, probably the best time but then the episode I think takes a really hentai turn right here where we have Natsu going to go talk to Hina don't know what his intent was but he goes and sees her in her room and I don't know why they don't actually close the door like that's one of the things that I don't understand sometimes about this when it comes to anime slash hentai it's like why didn't you close your door and she was getting herself off she was masturbating to Shu uh, she was thinking about him and Natsu freaks out he had a book out with him and drops it and it basically turns tail uh, but we have we have them kind of she kind of actually tries to find out you know who was there he runs away but things like I said things are getting tense uh, but the episode ends like that but let me know what you guys think overall of this episode I thought it was ooh, strong and I'll catch you later